Apparently, this dandy mayor hat contains the soul of a warrior. Being mayor is cool. It's a hole full of bubbling stink water. According to the legend, it will lead a hero into the volcano. A hero with the soul of a warrior, the spirit of a huntsman, and the will of a wise man. Right. Okay, Giza, I've done your stupid prophecy. Hey, I'm talking to you. Let me into the volcano. Oof! Good thing this ice broke my fall. It looks icy and cold. I can't touch it. It would freeze my hand off. That thermal is directly under the bridge. The hot air must come from inside the old volcano. I couldn't reach it if I wanted to. The water's freezing brass monkeys. A dangling stone stalactite. I can't reach it up there. One of those precariously hanging stalactites. So here it is. Bloodbeard's ship, the Sweet Mary. How untidy. If I was shipwrecked, I'd do it much better than that. Not with big holes in the hull and skeletons everywhere. Hmm. Her sailing days are definitely over. Look at them, lounging around. That's probably why they got shipwrecked. So lazy. I don't want anything to do with those bony chumps. Another trickle of hot air coming up through the ice. The air is hot and smelly. I'd rather stay away. Finally, a treasure chest. Come to Nelly, treasure. <clears throat> it's... pretty much empty. What's up with that? Oh, hang on. What's this? Some kind of locket. Can this shiny little thing be the priceless treasure Bloodbeard had told me about? Stay where you are, Nelly. What? Van Sant, how did you get here? I hitched a ride on your dirigible, of course. Because I'm not an addle-brained pirate, I entered the volcano via the gift shop. And here in the crater we see a fine selection of stalactites. I told you I didn't want the tour, Mr. Nelson. But what about your uh, free gloom home keyring? I said get out! What do you want? There's no treasure. That's not what my new friends tell me. Give us the treasure, Nelly, or be shot to smithereens. And? Sorry. Give us the treasure and be shot to smithereens. I told you, there's no... Whitebeard's it's got a gun. Van Zandt is trying to shoot me. The Baroness is out for blood. I don't think that will work. It's shiny and gold, but I can't open it. I didn't lose any faculties. It's the stalactite that clogged me on the head. Take that. Ah, what do I do? There. That was close. Ah! 
you. Are you guys okay in there? No. Good. Now what's the deal with this treasure locket? I can't even open it. Perhaps I can help. I've been tracking the wide beard since they escaped from the brig. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, I've got them on ice. Well done. It's a play on words, because they're actually frozen. I know. What do you make of this? You have to press the red gemstone. Bloodbeard, and you? <sighs> ah yes, William and me. There's a gold ring inside too. The engraving says, to my treasure, sweet Mary. It's the wedding ring William never gave me. I see. So, this ring is the treasure of the Seventh Sea. I think Bloodbe... I think William wanted me to give it to you. Thank you, Nelly. Give that to me. I demand treasure. It's just a ring, you fat-headed imbecile. The sentimental kind of treasure, not the good kind. Liars! You're all liars! Just like my treacherous brother! William Bloodbeard was not a traitor! No! Of course he was a traitor! He betrayed me! What? How? By sailing off without me to Gloomholm, of course! Is that what you think happened? What? That, that is what happened! Don't you remember, you hairy fool? Think back. Think back. Think back to the start of William's final voyage. Iron feet give me an innate sense of magnetic north. Say no more, brother. I could use a navigator, and I can't think of a better man for the job. Oh, thank you, William. Wait here while I fetch my charts and astrolabe. Don't tarry. We'll be launching soon. Great news, eh? Who'd be a baron when you could be a navigator? Ahem. We're launching! Brother! Mary! My love! William! Goodbye! I brought the extra large sextant just in case. He's gone. Yeah, he said something about not wanting a hairy runt tagging along. Curse him! Curse William Bloodbeard and all pirates! Flashbacks are fun. So, William didn't betray me? No, it was your horrible wife. Oh, I've wasted so many years. So many birds needlessly kidnapped and enslaved. My dream of being a navigator crumbled to dust. <laughs> Say, Nelly, aren't you in need of a navigator? What? Couldn't you use a navigator on your crew? I suppose we do need a navigator. Also lifeboats. Really? Yeah, it's a serious health and safety issue. But would you, would you take me on? I don't know. You'd have to swear off cruelty to birds. Oh, I swear! Well... Okay then, Navigator Widebeard. Aye, aye! Set a course for adventure! Have I had this the whole time? And so, Nelly was joined in her adventures by Baron Widebeard, who'd learned his lesson and changed his name to Baron Wisebeard. But it didn't catch on, and everyone went back to saying Widebeard. The end. Let me tell you about Nelly. Her name is widely feared. The only pirate with a name that doesn't end in beard. She hid inside a parcel as the postage boat set sail. Oh, it wouldn't be the last time she pretended to be male. <laughs>
Delivered to Pot Rubicon, takes everything she sees. She'll take the shirt right off your back. That sailor sure got fleeced. With butterscotch and other shots, she filled her inventory. Oh, but who could blame the lass when she gets all her drinks for free? From Lucky's Bar to the coffee shop to the alehouse of Gloom Home, she opens new tabs on the bar. Like her name was Google Chrome. That's our Nelly! Ay -de -da -de -da -de -da. She washed up in the guttering house and got involved in smuggling. She had to fix an airship called the San Earth something something. Comes a startled muskrat and using her free sample did the girliest crime of our time. Theft by scented candle. <laughs> Like a feather in a hatband, she's an accessory to Trilby. In seven days, a stranger trial found the plaintiff guilty. The courts agreed she wasn't stealing, thieving from the town, and she left again with everything that wasn't nailed down. At every step, she knew what's next and what she got to do, cause she listened to Sebastian, who sounds a lot like Doctor Who. I think you'll find he's caught the duck. Hey, ya -de -da -de -da -de -da. Whenever she got stuck, she'd click on random things and try stuff. She had to do three pirate trials, suspiciously like Guybrush. The blind lookout. Who keeps a shop with a sword among the items. Just one of the tropes that strongly evokes the feel of Monkey Island. Ya -de -da -de -da -de -da. Har, 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 har. She fulfilled an ancient prophecy with a really awful pun. And Captain Happy's lucky sailor sugar biscuit song. She had the will of a wise man and a huntsman's spirit too. So why was the soul of a warrior not the bottom of a shoe? But how could Nelly arm wrestle and win her pastry gamble? She used the iron grip. TM! The mightiest oak famble. Hey, -de -da -de -da -de -da. Her rivals came with rifles to try and steal her treasure. She said, you're on thin ice, guys, and burnt that bridge forever. If you listen to a conch shell, there's a conch shot or within, and you'll hear the song of Nelly O, a blowing in the wind. It's the voices of those dream boats with the most poetic shanties. Jolly boat, jolly boat. They're on the front to swoon some dandies. Hey, ya -de -da -de -da -de -da. So raise the glass of booze you got For the girl who loots a lot Stamp and share and whoop a lot Woo! For Nelly Coot Actually, now that you mention it, what did happen to Van Zandt and the Baroness? <laughs> <laughs> Have you forgotten about us? Oh, no. I think someone's coming now. <laughs> <laughs>